The last sitting fortnight before the federal budget will likely be spent debating the government's proposed childcare changes. There's pressure on Labor and the crossbench to pass the deal, which would see cuts to family payments. Emma Jalbert returned to work after having her first child, but when her son Harry came along, there was no point. It's not worth going back to work. For a lot of families, yeah, it's not. The family would have faced fees of $40,000 a year, a cost that keeps rising. There was a 7.6% increase in childcare fees in the June quarter, the equivalent of 60 cents an hour or $700 per child per year. The government released the data today and the timing was no accident. All of this is clear evidence as to why the Turnbull government's childcare reforms ought to pass the parliament in these next two weeks. The reforms would set a benchmark price. Leaving most working families around $30 a week better off. But they're tied in with cuts to paid parental leave and family payments, and the government's rejecting calls to split the bills, leaving the Senate in a standoff. And no amount of foot stamping from Mr Turnbull is going to make us change our mind. Malcolm Turnbull was certainly stamping his feet this morning, taking to Twitter in what's been described as a Trump-like rant, rubbishing reports his government was considering cutting some welfare payments. The Prime Minister tweeted the report was false and we outright rejected. I can assure all aged pensioners the measure reported will not be in the budget. We assured the journalist too, but she insisted on writing the story. And sadly, I can also assure you that you can always rely on Bill Shorten to lie. Mr Turnbull uh, is showing, I think, signs of pressure. Pressure that's set to peak between now and the May budget. Amelia Brace, 7 News. Okay.